Hi, it's Dr. Matt Harkness with Allied Physical Therapy Wellness Community, where we believe that health is a journey, not a destination. Something as fundamental as movement should not be complicated. This is why we take a habit-based approach to getting you back to what you love. We believe that taking a holistic approach, body, mind, and spirit, considering sleep, nutrition, movement, your community, and all of those things will help you stay on track and live a healthy lifestyle. Well, we're here to be your guide on this journey. We're sending you this Wellness Connection video with our frequent tips on making sure that you are doing the habits and you have the knowledge and the simple mindset to make sure that you are moving well. Today we are talking about night cramps. These can be debilitating, interrupting your sleep, causing agony and pain that is almost or unbearable in nature. Well, I'm sure that some of you have experienced these nighttime cramps in your legs, usually is where they most often occur. Well, according to an Australian study, about 50 to 60% of people that experience nighttime cr cramps end up having to jump out of bed and actually walk around to relieve these leg cramps. Of course, getting up when you're dark, you're in a sleep, that could also put you at risk for a fall and other problems as well. So, while there is not a cure for nighttime leg cramps, we want to share with you some tips that will help you minimize or even eliminate nighttime cramps. So let's take a look at these tips. Before we look at the tips, let's look at the cause of nighttime cramps. Although cramps are horrible, painful, they are generally harmless. So some of the common causes of leg, leg cramps are activity that you do that you don't usually do. Perhaps you went on a long walk with a friend and you don't normally do that. Perhaps you were moving mulch in your yard to make your flower beds look beautiful and that is not something that you normally do. Perhaps you were reorganizing your house and moving some boxes of storage into your garage. So those things aren't your normal routine. There is a good possibility that that night you might experience leg cramps. Another thing that can cause leg cramps is dehydration. We, here we are in our part of the country, Florida, it gets very hot and humid and if you're not drinking adequate water, you may be dehydrated and you can have increased cramping at night. Also, if you have a thyroid disorder, uh, disorders of your liver, um, you can also get cramping as well. Most of the time, uh, again, I would say that cramping is harmless, but as you do the tips, tips that I'm about to show, tell you, and you have persistent leg cramping, please make an appointment starting with your primary care physician and then get directed if you need more specialty consultation to see if it is something more serious like mineral depletion or uh, some other factor that would warrant perhaps medication or some further testing, etc. So now for the tips. When you experience these nighttime leg cramps is where they most often occur. Usually in the calf, behind the shin, kind of that lower large muscle. If it happens there, pull your toes to your nose slowly. As you pull your toes toward your nose, it'll stretch out that calf in the back of your lower leg and it will 
turn on the muscles in the shin, the front of the leg. And that is actually a great way to relax a cramping muscle. Even you can do some light ankle pumps up and down to help that muscle just relax. Another thing you could do if the, mu if the cramp is more higher, say in the hamstring area behind the thigh, you can sit up in bed, kind of reach toward your toes. But if you can't reach your toes, I love these stretch straps. I always call it, call it kind of like the toothbrush of your muscles, meaning everyone should have one. You would not have a toothbrush. You should not not have a stretch strap. So you can put this on the end of your toe and just slowly pull your leg up and stretch the hamstring. Remember to do it slowly to breathe and relax when you do these. I promise you the cramp will subside and start to give way. Another thing you can do is massage the area that is painful. Sometimes I like to take say some biofreeze, open it, put a little bit on your hand and just kind of massage that area. But be careful not to press too hard because that can actually make the cramping stronger. So just kind of light and then slowly you can increase the pressure there. Also, something like Kinesio Tape, there are different brands of this, but this is a very effective thing to reduce leg cramps. I think of a patient that I had uh, a year or two ago, and he had horrible, horrible leg cramps, tried the stretch straps, tried pulling the, the toes to the nose, it didn't work, tried the massage, but this tape helped to reduce the leg cramps. This is a piece of the tape here and you simply peel the backing off and you peel it back and you put it directly in the area where the cramp is, whether it's the back, the leg, the shin, sometimes it can be on the side of the leg a little bit and this will usually stay on your leg for two to three days. It can get wet with, uh, in the shower and it still is okay. So that can be a very effective way to reduce leg cramps as well. Also some heat. If you have uh, say a, a heating pad or something and you can put some heat on it and just if you, whether you plug it in, make sure it's not too high or you have some of those old ski things that you rip and it activates the heat and you put that in the area uh, that'll help to relax you as you're trying to get back to sleep. So let's also take a look at what to do if these cramps are still not going away. So to prevent nighttime cramps, there are a couple of things you can do. But first, you might have heard of quinine or magnesium supplements that may help to reduce leg cramps at night. However, from personal experience with different people I work with and even the research has shown that these supplements have really not been shown to be effective. And there are some associated risk factors which I generally don't recommend magnesium or quinine as a prevention measure. So I also would, would recommend is stretching. And not just stretching when you have an onset of night cramps, but stretching like you brush your teeth on a consistent basis. Make it a habit. I always say, you brush your teeth every day, you should brush your muscles every day, meaning you need to stretch daily. And it doesn't have to be a lot, but it does have to be consistent. One of the best stretches to do daily is the calf stretch. So that is simply stretching the back of your calf, elongating the muscle, and making sure that it is not prone to going into spasm. So another thing you can do too is hydration. Hydration is very important for 
keeping your muscles healthy and prevent preventing cramping because if you're dehydrated they will tend to be malnourished and cramp up and tighten up and get fatigued easier of course hydration helps in a other host of area areas your circulation um, your digestive system um, your ability to sleep better so as always we have our water bottles here and these are very nice because they have the straw which actually it has been shown that having a straw will help you to drink more water per day remember if you make an appointment as a result of watching this video we will give you an absolutely free water bottle of course the kinesio tape which i talked about before is a helpful thing too as a preventative technique if you're going to be doing a lot of work outside and you apply the kinesio tape in the areas that you tend to get the night cramps that will also help to prevent prevent night cramps as well so if all else fails and you've tried all these things and you're still having leg cramps of course it is good to get checked if you are not responding to the tips that we've shared today with your primary care doctor but maybe even before you do that I would come in and see us and of course we could probably resolve it but we can also recommend the appropriate specialist if you need some more uh, testing and, and diagnostics so remember to check our website we have a huge number of downloads every day of our resources on our website we have several ebooks there very helpful information subscribe to our youtube channel we have uh, great content there also check our social media facebook instagram be sure to uh, like our post we want to get this message out to more people and be sure to join us next time for our next wellness connection and share this video with a friend and last but not least i want to thank you personally for being part of our allied family our allied community and taking the time to watch this video and yes you will be better for it so thank you and have a great day